Hey guys, um, I just want to show you a uh, small short video here of the, uh, the vibration dampeners on the Iconic XFPV. Um, you can see I use these uh, female to male dampeners. These are rubber. Um, these are these are the strongest I've ever tested, um, and they weigh nothing. So um, installing these on the plates when when you get it, if you if your setup comes unassembled you basically just uh, stick your M3 screw right in the hole like that and then you take the uh, dampener and just thread it on under that screw there just finger tight and then grab your your screwdriver hold the Pull the vibration dampener with the other hand like this, then just tighten it down. Um, you don't need to go super tight. You want it snug. Um, I've tested going really tight in these things. It's almost impossible to even turn it. But you, know, you want to go snug. These aren't really going to come loose because of the rubber, when it's compressed down from the screw, it's actually squeezing it right onto the, the frame there, the chassis, the plate. So it's not going to turn or anything like that. See that? Now let me take this back off. Now if you already got the plates assembled in the middle, if you already got the plates assembled without the vibration dampeners on there already, just do this. Just take this off. Alright. Alright, so another one here that's assembled so if you already have them like this and you're like well I don't want to take them back off all you have to do is just find your top plate that's going to be facing up spread it apart a little bit just spread that apart stick the M3 screw right in the hole there and the same thing just hold it with your finger thread it on a couple threads that's it now if you got a uh, small Phillips like these x-ray ones same same way just hold it from the other side you can go right through the hole right there you can tighten it up same way that's it it's tight because of there's only uh, it's a female male it makes it easy for installing it with that screw so you don't have to worry about putting a nut or anything on there and then the top, when you mount this, it just go. It's just a hex nut, no locking nut or anything. You don't need anything else than a hex nut because, again, when you compress that screw, the the vibration damper will compress up against the plate. So it'll 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 compress up against the plate, and make that screw nice and snug. So, just wanted to show you the vibration dampeners on that Iconic XFV.